Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I would like to show you how you can create this animated hexagon infographic in PowerPoint. So once again this is how it looks like, we have some spinning animation going on and we have these bubbles flying from the sides. Ok, so as you can see this infographic has some intricate shapes and it would be possible to create everything in PowerPoint, but this time we will jump to Inkscape, Inkscape will help us to make this infographic very easily. So let's select this polygon and stars tool, let's make sure that corners are set to 6 and now hold down the control key and draw this small hexagon. And now let's make sure that we enable a couple of importing snapping options, so first of all Let's click on this one, Snap Centers of Objects, and let's click on the Snap to Cusp Nodes. So Cusp Nodes are basically the sharp edges of any shape, and we will be drawing circles and placing them on these corners of the hexagon. Ok, so let's select the Circle tool, hold down the Control key, and let's draw a big, perfect circle, just like that. And now, as you can see, we can snap this circle to this point on the hexagon. That's awesome. So now let's make a copy, hit Ctrl D and let's snap this copy to this corner. And now let's repeat the same process for all of these corners of the hexagon until we have six beautiful circles, just like that. Now we can select the hexagon, we can delete it. OK. So now we are left with these beautiful, evenly spaced out uh, circles. And now we have to break apart all of these circles so that we can access all of those little individual parts. OK, so now if we would select all of the circles and if we would go to Path, Division, as you can see this is not the result that we want. So before doing that, let's select all of the circles and first of all, let's combine them. Let's go to Path and choose Combine. Alright, now let's select the Rectangle tool. And let's just draw a rectangle that covers all of these circles. Let's make sure that we send this rectangle to back, just like that. Now select the rectangle, hold down the Shift key, select these combined circles. And let's go to Path, Division. And now Inkscape has divided all of these uh, circles into separate parts. That's super awesome. So as you can see, we can select this one or any other part that we want. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Ok, so now let me select all of these guys and let's add a fill. It will be easier to work. And now let me show you how we can union these separate parts and create these shapes that we need. So you can use the Shift key to select all of these parts. Now go to Path, choose Union. And this way we have created this shape. Another technique that you could use is just hold down the Alt key and drag with your mouse and paint the selection line and Inkscape will understand which uh, parts you'd like to select. That's awesome. And now you can just hit the shortcut for Union, that is Control Plus, and this way we can union the rest of these shapes that we need. So let me speed up and I will meet you in a second. All right, so all of the shapes are ready. Now let me select everything and go to the Notes tool and let's look if we can find any imperfections, for example this point, let's just select it and delete it. And the rest of the shapes are looking pretty much perfect, so now we can uh, select everything, just hit Ctrl A to select, hit Ctrl C to copy, and now we can paste the simple graphic directly into PowerPoint, just like that, Ctrl V. Let's resize it, let's convert it to shape, OK. Now we can ungroup the whole thing and now we can access all of the individual parts. That's super awesome. Ok, and now let me just copy this infographic that I have already done and let's paste it to our slide. Let's make it smaller. And we will just copy and paste the style from this infographic to our newly created infographic to save some time. So let's make sure that everything is ungrouped so that we can select all of these individual parts. 
Now let's select this white part, hit Ctrl Shift C to copy the style. Now let's select our hexagon and hit Ctrl Shift V to paste. OK, and I will leave the format shape window open here on the right side so you can see all of the settings that I'm using for all of these gradients. OK. And now let's zoom in a little bit and let's make this hexagon a little bit smaller. You can hold down the Ctrl and Shift key to resize your shape inside just like that. Now let's select this first shape, hit Ctrl Shift C to copy the style and now let's select this shape on our infographic and hit Ctrl Shift V to paste the style. And as you can see it's pretty easy process so let me just speed up a little bit and I will meet you in a second. Alright so our hexagon infographic is looking pretty so now let's just add some text inside of this white part. Okay for the second line of text let's use different font, railway light and font size 28. That's good. Alright and now let's select all of these parts around the hexagon. Let's group them into one group so that they're one group and this white hexagon is uh, a separate shape. That's good. Okay so let's make sure everything is aligned to the center. That's good. And by the way if you would like to learn how to create the rest of these infographics I have recently launched a new class on Skillshare on how to create and animate infographics with Inkscape and PowerPoint. You can get 7 days of Skillshare Premium for free and watch this entire infographic class for free. Link is in the video description. Alright, so now let me grab these bubbles from my previous slide just to save some time. Okay, select them all. Ctrl C to copy. Ctrl V to paste. That's good. And now let me show you how we can add animations. So let's open up the animation pane. As you can see we have a bunch of animations. So let me delete most of them so that we can start from scratch. Let's just leave the title and subtitle animated. Alright, so let's start with these guys around the hexagon. As you remember we have grouped them into one group. So that's really good. And now let's go to add animations. More entrance animations. And let's find this one called spinner. That's good. So now it spins pretty fast, so let's make duration 2 seconds, that's good, starts with previous. Ok, looking good. Ok, so now we can animate this hexagon in the middle. Let's go to entrance animations and let's look for zoom animation, here it is, click ok. So let's make sure it starts with previous, duration 2 seconds. Looking good. Alright, now let's grab the animation from the uh, subtitle, let's use the animation painter and let's paste this animation to all of these bubbles on the sides. And let's make sure that we choose the right flying directions, so for these guys on the left let's choose from left and for these guys on the right let's choose from right. Ok, and for this first bubble let's make sure that it comes after previous. So the hexagon comes, then these guys, and only then this first step comes in. And for the rest of these steps or bubbles, let's add a 0 0.2 second delay. So for the second one, 0 0.2, for the third, 0 0.4, and so on. Alright, and we are finished. So let's enjoy the final result on the full screen. Congratulations ladies and gentlemen, now you know how you can create this animated hexagon infographic using PowerPoint and Inkscape. And I want to say huge thanks to all of my supporters on Patreon and to all of my students on Udemy and Skillshare. Stay happy, stay healthy and I will see you on my next video.